<sighs> hey guys, Galvin Camera 23 back again with a video, and today is going to be the first video in my new video series called I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to call it this, but for now, working title uh, First Watch. Basically, I was looking the other day through my uh, Blu ray collection, I've noticed that kind of two thirds of my collection I haven't actually, I've never seen the film and I've watched it on Blu ray, so I thought I'd go through my collection from A to Z, well, I'm pretty sure it's A to Z. Um, and watch ones which I haven't uh, seen and uh, kind of watch them obviously and uh, then give you my comments on what I thought of the film and uh, first one uh, what better way to start off this series with the highest grossing film of 2012 The Avengers so I can see that uh, again it's one of my uh, biggest cinema regrets not seeing this at the cinema uh, obviously I've heard amazing things about it it's basically on top three films of more or less everybody on YouTube. Um, again, I didn't see it. Uh, looking forward to seeing it. Uh, like I said, I've heard very good things. And uh, yeah, so I'll pop it in. Yeah, here's the disc and I'll pop it in. Turn the television on and we'll get going. Yeah, the title screen for the Avengers. This is what we're doing, I'll be uh, watching the film and then I'll give you my thoughts afterwards, so let's do this thing. Here are the uh, beginning credit sequence for the Avengers that I've just finished. I'll be uh, watching the rest of the credits, then I'll see you in a sec and give you my thoughts on the film. Hey guys, it's me quickly again, I just thought I'd uh, give some more um, footage from the credits and the extremely awesome background song of Soundgarden with Live to Rise. God, I fucking love this song. The film, not as much. <laughs> right, see you in a minute. Hey guys, just uh, finished watching The Avengers and it's a good film. I enjoyed it. Uh, not as much as I thought I would do, to be quite honest. Um, I couldn't fault the action, the action was great, great uh, set pieces, very kind of wow uh, kind of effects and stuff, but it kind of underwhelmed me a bit, it had a few problems with it. Um, where are we going to start? Uh, the main one being, uh, when it was funny, I mean when it's trying to be funny, let me get this, when it's trying to be funny it's not as funny, but when it's kind of just like throwaway lines were funny, but kind of when it's they say when they're just going for a punchline, I didn't really find it funny at all. Uh, yeah, maybe if I watch it, maybe want another couple of times, maybe I might kind of enjoy it a bit more. Like I say I couldn't fault the action whatsoever. Um, I don't know. This is kind of a question. Uh, basically, uh, when Hulk transforms the first time, he kind of goes after all the Avengers and tries to kill them and stuff. But on the second time he transforms, he doesn't. I'm not quite sure how that works. Maybe it's kind of explained in the other films, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe if I'd watched uh, some of the, you know, the build-up films, I would enjoyed it uh, more. Because the only one I've seen is um, Incredible Hulk, the uh, Edward Norton one, and that's not quite considered. Uh, that, again... Some of the the script kind of let it down in my opinion a little bit. Like I say, when it's trying to be funny, it wasn't funny. And there's kind of stupid look, kind of looks in the camera that made no no point at all. Like when they're when they're bitching each other and in the middle of the film, the uh, Black Widow goes uh, for no reason whatsoever. It's just ridiculous. Anyway, so I give it a good seven out of ten. Great action scenes. Uh, yep. Yeah, Again, the acting was great, characters were great, the story was good. The villain I didn't I didn't think was that good at all. I think it's a bit of a pussy to be quite honest. And also when he's making that speech to all those um to all those Germans and he's doing it in English, but somehow they know what he's talking about, which I thought was a bit strange. I said I just thought it was a bit of a pussy to be quite honest. And he gets beaten to shit by uh by the Hulk. And he just while all this shit's happening, all the all the missile stuff, which I think is weird anyway, because it's funny how you'd stop, you'd stop a 
an aircraft that's going to shoot a missile into well, Manhattan or something by shooting it with a missile, which is kind of <laughs> ironic, I guess. Um, yeah, then you just kind of when all this all this shit's happening, when they're kind of killing all these monsters or whatever they are, he just kind of lies there doing nothing, which is a bit strange. Like I say, I think I mean Tom Hiddleston did a good job of kind of making me not like a villain, which is good, but I kind of didn't like him because he wasn't a very good villain in my opinion. So uh, yes, yeah, so I'll give it a good good seven out of ten. Maybe if I watch it another couple of times, maybe I'll enjoy it more. But uh, yeah, I think that's basically it. That's my thoughts on. Uh, the Avengers, again I refuse to call it by its UK name, I don't even know why I changed it in the first place. And I think that's about it. I'll be doing, let's say, I'll be, this is a first of a series, so you'll see another kind of episode of this next Saturday, uh, diary permitting. So, yeah, please rate, comment and subscribe and I'll see you on my next video. Thanks for watching.